add Miss Chantel. Hey everyone, so I'm gonna add Shine in about two secs, but I'm Mahida, and if you don't know me, I'm the founder behind the mum group. So yeah, today we're starting this series in the making, and it's just to highlight and promote mums. Hey Shane, I'm gonna add you in two seconds to promote mums who are just making things happen, whether they're in a certain business, homemakers, um, on a certain career path. So yeah, I'll add Shan so I don't waffle on and then we'll give everyone a few seconds to join. Okay, now how do I add her? Is it this one? Yep. Gosh, just lighting picks of everything. Hey sis. Girl, I'm trying to like set my lighting up. So. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think it will work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm scared of my um I'm scared <laughs> of my my little ring light boy because it's been wobbling. So hopefully yeah, it's it well, like stay there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might turn up, God willing. It works, so yeah. That's fine. I was thinking we give, we'll give everyone can like can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Can you hear me? Thanks to she I'll stop it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I was thinking let's give everyone like 30 seconds and then we'll get into it but if you want to like I guess like introduce yourself what you do oh well, first of all I was going to be like isn't eight o'clock when Boris kind of announces what's going on really oh god I again <laughs> girl that's probably why hey Nabila <laughs> So let me just wait like a few seconds to introduce yeah, myself. Yeah, that's right. But how's your day been anyway? You know what? The day's been okay. Like I had like a thing with Travy on school, you know, with what's going Ooh. on. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, but besides that, it's been good. What about you? Yeah, it's been all right. Um, I didn't even hear from camp school today, so. <laughs> like... what I mean. <laughs> but you can't even. Like, I don't blame them for not dealing with it while they were on their holiday because they shouldn't have to interrupt it because the government can't get that together. Yeah, that's true. Hey, yeah. girl. Hey, Nabia. Is hey. It Nabia? Did I say that right? I hate, like, ruining people's names. Yeah. <laughs> I think, like, yeah. I'll just call her Nibs. <laughs> yeah, hey, Nibs. Yeah, I can get with that. <laughs> oh, God. You got me thinking, like, I want to know what Boris is saying now. I know, because <laughs> I think Davina just said that he's actually on. Ah. Oh. You guys, if you, anyone's watching it, keep us posted while we give everyone, like, a few more seconds. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> he's trying to say until April, isn't it? April? Yeah, I mean, I'm 13 March. So he needs to stop it, mate. Wow. Yeah, so, April. But how have you been finding, like, the whole tear thing, lockdown, just COVID in general? My friend, I'm just living my life like it's gold. <laughs> 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 I mean... Not much to do, but you make the most of it. Yeah, and honestly, I'll we'll be walking in and out looking for my attention just to update people here. Uh, you know that's fine. Mm -hmm. I can't even. The only thing that's entertaining Cameron right now is PlayStation because he's playing with all his friends. So, yeah. Wait, <laughs> this was just say some kind of normality in July. I beg, I beg. Afternoon July. Is coming. They said that last year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, July. Oh. It's just stress now. <laughs> <laughs> We're stressed. Oh. Okay, oh, let's get into it because we look at us. We're, uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me get my titties down. <laughs> Already. I'm ready. Um, yeah, man, I'm dehydrated. <laughs> but yeah, I'll give you um. The floor is yours then. Introduce yourself and tell people who you are, what you're about, what you do. Well, yes. I'm Miss Chantel. I like that, actually, yes. I'm Miss Chantel. I'm owner of... Okay. I'm a mother, author, and business owner. Or should I say business owners? I'm currently studying to get my degree in nursing. And I'm a mother of two. And I'm just here because I like to be fabulous. But not just now because I just finished, like, working out. So just go with you it. You still look cute. <laughs> Can you go that way, please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but that's, that's what I do. Um, yeah. Well, now, count how many times the children come. 
<laughs> but um, no, I'll get into it then. So I have a few questions that I um, put together before. Mm -hmm. Just so, because, you know, we're friends, by the way, for people that don't know. So just so we don't, like, ramble on and get carried away. <laughs> but, yeah, obviously, like you said, you're a multi-business owner and you manage your businesses as well, as well as, like, being a housewife, a mum, a working mum, and studying oh, at the same time. Part-time housewife, wait on. <laughs> don't make it out there. But no, I was going to ask you, like, I find that many mums who have that, I guess, like, it's unfair to say that someone's a natural entrepreneur. I don't think that's possible. I think it takes like grit and experience. But I was going to say that um, a lot of mums who are entrepreneurs at heart sometimes feel the feel guilty to pursue it, and they try and lead like normal lives. So go and get like a everyday job, so they don't kind of take away their time from their children. Like, how did you kind of take ownership of that entrepreneur fire in you and like pursue it? I think that, that there's two things. <laughs> I think the thing there is um, nine to five. Okay, I'm going to speak from my experience. When I was working nine to five and doing like 12 hour shifts, it took mm -hmm. away a lot of time from the kids. Like when I, I don't see the kids when I come home and by the time I leave for work, they're going to, to school. So with en entrepreneurship, I think people glorify that a bit too much and pretend like there is not because... For me, it's a sacrifice. Whether you work a nine to five or like become an entrepreneur, it's still a sacrifice. Like mm -hmm. not because you become an entrepreneur doesn't mean like you're still not going to miss out on some of your kids' stuff. But I guess you can work around it a bit more, but you're yeah. still sacrificing because for me personally, <laughs> when being an entrepreneur for me takes more than my nine to five because I'm sitting here right now and I'm thinking, okay, as soon as I come off, I need to do this to make sure everything's okay on the business end. At work, you still have to put in what you're doing there. So for me, it's about sacrifice. At the end of the day, if you want to be an entrepreneur, do it because you're still making that sacrifice. That. <laughs> it's okay. We're all moms here. We know how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, but for me, just to stay with it, I think. You just have to choose what you what you want and what you're willing to sacrifice. And then the, I chose if it's going to be a sacrifice, I'd rather the entrepreneurship route because I know what I want. I know that I want to be able to set my time. But even saying that, that's the thing. I'm still not setting my time because in those times, it still overlaps and I'm still having stuff to do. So choose what you're willing to sacrifice. Like, between the nine to five, and to be honest, I always say to people, and it's something I wish I knew. Penny! <laughs> <laughs> Reality. Reality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what would I say, kids? Because children's just um, something that you wish you knew, and then you said, yeah, Penny! <laughs> take that like nine to five money and really invest it in your business. And this yeah. is what I remember, like, oh, I want to be an entrepreneur. And I remember, like, quitting my job with no thought of what's coming next. And I'm like, oh, I should have had a plan, you know, <laughs> kind of mm -hmm. thing. So don't just jump and think, okay, the nine to five isn't for me. Have a plan, because that's what I had to do. I had to go back, have a plan. And I use that nine to five to fund my business. I have no loans. I have nothing. So just choose your sacrifice. Work never stops, so choose what you want to work and what you want to do. And there's nothing wrong with one to nine to five, but if you know that um, an entrepreneur heart is what you have, you have to go in it and realize it's not even a nine to five. It's like when you wake up to when you go to bed. Like, don't stop and think, I don't want to do a nine to five because being an entrepreneur is like, a, it's all, all around the clock. There is no time limit. Whereas if you go to a nine to five, you know you can clock out. Yeah, and it takes a while to get to that point where you're paying people to do the things that take up all your time. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah, and I'm gonna ask you really. soon because we'll um cover like when you when's the right time to outsource. But I'll ask you about that after. Yeah. But I was just gonna say, obviously, we just heard you ball out Femi's name. <laughs> <laughs> um, when, how do you manage like your family, your businesses, your studies, and just make time for you two? Because you have to still nourish your relationship at the same time. Yeah. You know what is? It's, I'd, I'd love to say have like a list because I have a list, yeah. And I look at it sometimes. I'm like, oh, I haven't ticked off a lot of those stuff. 
<laughs> but it's having a support network. For me, I have a support network, so I can't talk about anything else. I can only talk about me and what yes. I'm experiencing. And I have, as you can see me screaming out Femi's name, when that child ain't listening, go, go, go <laughs> with it. <laughs> School's closed until Feb after. Anyways, yeah, let me just... <laughs> <laughs> no lockdown gosh <laughs> okay um i think me and family we work together quite as, as a unit you know what i mean and our thing is on like say for instance our thing in our house is saturdays or like what do you call it family time where yeah. travion will tell us his concerns or we tell travion his concerns and how we can aid so it's creating time for them to know that they're still important because they are and i know sometimes i do work a lot i do mm -hmm. work a lot but i try to let him understand that i want better for them and i want better for myself and it's for them so just have like yeah. an open dialogue because i think the thing with us adults is we think they're just children and we talk, and we like baby them and we don't really communicate with them because they want to know why we're working so much and then mm -hmm. it's just like shoving so i have an open communication with my son because my daughter is too young at the moment yeah. And with Femi, we make, well, you know, you've seen Femi, he's very romantic anyway. So mm -hmm. it's just like, it's simple things. I think people like take too much of social media and think you have to spend so much on like your other half. But it's like the simple things. You could just be reading while I'm scrolling on my phone because he's reading one. Yeah. And, you know, and just talking about simple things. Even when you're going to bed, it's like simple things to make sure that we're still communicating and we're still on the same page, really. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. But um, I was going to say, how do you prioritize time for yourself? Because like you said, you're very busy. So obviously we see like Glam Shan, Shan who's like taking your health seriously because you know your 30th is coming up soon. But um, how do you prioritize yourself? You know, um, I've now created, as you said, fitness. Like I know Mondays to Thursdays or like my fitness days. Like, I just fit in an hour slot. And yeah. You know, it's, it's all about time honestly it's creating like um a routine well i, I don't really stick to routines for me more like <laughs> having Just that order, you know what i mean he's more neat and but obviously i know that at seven o'clock don't talk to me on mondays because it's time for me to work out and it's important <laughs> like for me, sometimes my mom will have my kids so that me and family can have us time and create time for myself and sometimes when the kid goes Femi and I in one separate room because we just want time for ourselves, but we can't go nowhere. You know what I mean? And it's honouring and respecting each other's boundaries sometimes, even though the house is clear, I just want to be alone. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's just create time. It's all about time and using your time wisely, honestly. And um, even you mentioning your mum, like I feel like from obviously being your friend and seeing it, you utilise like your family in a good way. So not oh, like... Like, but, like, for me, when I was younger and I first had Cam, like, there was a lot of pride where I didn't really want to ask people. But then I saw I was taken on too much and it affected, it affected my well-being a lot. So, like, now if I need someone to have him, like, I will send him to where he's comfortable. Like, I with my sister, with his um cousin, like, people like that. But how, what advice would you give to mums who are kind of like, they have good people around them, but they're a bit kind of too prideful to ask for help? Cut the foolishness. I'm just like, <laughs> people around you that you really trust honestly take yeah. time because for me when the kids go go away it's time for me to like reboot and recharge and i always say to like moms like who have their kids 24 7 that do have the support you overworking yourself you're not giving your best of yourself to your kids or even to yourself so what if what you're pouring into your kids is all I always say if you are drained. And I feel it when I'm drained. I'm snappy. I can't talk. And my son be like, Mom, why are you shining like that? And, I've, and I don't like me like that. So I, 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 when I find myself like that, I call my mom and say, you know what? I need a break. I call my friend, like their godmoms, and be like, take the kids. Just, But I would say use the help that you have because you don't know how important it is to fuel yourself up to give to the people around you. So please do yeah. ask. I mean, it's 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 not. No one's looking at you and saying that. Uh, you, well, there's people that love to say your kids are always with your girl. I don't care. She wants them, so go. <laughs> <laughs> but let her have them. Yeah. Let her have them. Let her have them and pour into yourself, man. Like that's the only way we're gonna like achieve what we want to achieve for the kids to enjoy the the best of us. 
Yeah. And like they say, it takes a village, so it's necessary. That's old folks say, isn't it? Like, it does take a village because it's a lot. Kids are a lot, especially I put my hands up to the full time moms because listen, mm -hmm. kids are annoying, man. <laughs> like, That's all the time. A newfound respect for like homemakers. Yeah, like, honestly, mm -hmm. they, they, do, they do amazing things, honestly. Yeah. And, um, and, um, yeah, sorry. You know, my brain ain't too good of the, you know. <laughs> That's right, <girl. laughs> When did you, yeah, now moving on to like outsourcing for your business, when did you realize like it was time for you to start to, like pulling away from some of your money and giving it to other people to run certain areas of your business that are like quite time consuming? Oh, that one was a, uh, it was like a struggle because Femi be Nigerian, yeah? He <laughs> loves to just hold on to that money. <laughs> yeah. And when I kept telling him, like, when I kept telling him, like, it's time, he'd be like, but you can, like, do this yourself or you can just make time. And sometimes making time is not enough. Like, yeah. I know it's knowing what your strengths are. And once, if you feel like, I felt like I couldn't breathe because there was so much for me to do because people look at like well the, the way people show on instagram entrepreneurship is this brilliant thing that you can do and you're a boss if you're doing it all by yourself i lied mm -hmm. Mattel, lie. <laughs> <laughs> you need like my little sister she will help me with like the stock intake and come mm -hmm. from the inventory and that helps and then walking you through I then decided it was time for me to find like an Insta, what do you call it, social media manager. Oh, yeah. Because I could imagine working, running the kids, trying to do like, it was just You're a lot. Starting. So, you know what I mean? It was time for me to find someone. But let me tell you, finding the right person to trust your business with. <sighs> That's a whole next ball game. It's <laughs> a next ball game. But when you feel like you can't breathe and when you just feel like you've, done all you can on your own like mm -hmm. money for me to make money you have to spend money like you're going to spend if you want to become a millionaire don't think you're just going to spend 10 pounds here and you're going to become a millionaire you know what i mean yeah. you're going to have to spend up in that 50k or even more to become mm -hmm. that millionaire you have your marketing you have tr like i just also found like um a brand manager for ball bells oh because amazing Girl, I'm coming for y'all in 2021. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I just found a brand manager because I realized I was trying to do everything on my own, but it made my business at a standstill because I'm not equipped with everything. God gave me the brains to, I know I can run a business. I know how to do like the little styling and things like that. But when it comes to marketing, the branding, the it, it's just a lot to go on to. So when you find yourself stagnant, it's time. It's time. Don't hold on to your money and try to think, oh, I have this much, much in my account. I don't want to see it go because I'm not going to lie. That was me because I like seeing the money. Yeah, but, you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have to spend money. Literally, you have to spend money to make it back. So don't, don't be that person that just want to say they have money in their account because that's not going to bring you back nothing. You need to invest to bring back money. Yeah. It's so important. And it's like, so Invest. because sometimes when you're new to it and then you find something like a canva you're like yeah i can be the graphic designer and then you like you can learn you everything can... everything isn't it it's just it's like I've been email marketing well, it's a lot yeah it's, it's good true. to have an understanding understanding of everything but you can't do it all or you're just going to start doing it sloppily when someone out there could get your vision and there's like you can pay there's them someone that's equipped you know what i mean there's someone that mm -hmm. went to study with, um, with that knowledge that can take your brand to the next level and you're not going to the next level because you want to be stingy like Femi. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I made sure him after. <laughs> but, but it's true. Yeah, but I would, and even with that, because obviously sometimes it's not just about holding on to money. Sometimes when people see a profit, especially as moms, if you can all like cut new hair or like, let me treat you. <laughs> like, <laughs> Uh, this, uh, that's this been me one or two times you know <laughs> like, how did you learn to separate like this is your business's money and this is like keep it separate from trying to reinvest it in your household because then obviously uh, some take your business's money you're never gonna like see your business grow if you're always putting it back into like your personal stuff that's why i personally got an accountant because 
a story. When I started Bow Bells, well, it was called Latravian Boutique before. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, in less than a month, I made thousands. Oh, crap. And <laughs> as soon as I made it, I lost it because I didn't have an accountant. And I was uh -huh. like, oh, mommy, you can get that. Oh, send that to auntie. I became mm -hmm. And I was just like, wait a minute. So then I started back from scratch. And this is what I'm telling people. An accountant is so important to your business. I don't care if you've just started. I wish I knew that, what, four years ago? Because I wouldn't be back at a starting point. But because I did have an accountant. You know, What's your accountant? What's the company? The, your um, accountancy company. Wizard Limited, just so y'all know that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Wizard Limited, but... Honestly, it's it's good to have like a book bookkeeper and accountant because if I knew that four years ago, please, where's my private jet, mama? <laughs> like, it, it would, it would just be different. Expenses that we don't claim, and it's important. If you don't know how to do it, then just pay an accountant. Exactly, and for me, making an accountant easy because money side, I'm not the greatest. I mean, if you try to take money from me, I'll know it, but. <laughs> On the other side, it's good to have an account. It's so essential to a business, especially when you're starting out. As you said, there's so much things you can claim back and so much things that I found out that he was telling me about that. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So get an accountant. That's what I would say. So you can separate. And if you don't, I guess you can be your own bookkeeper. You know what I mean? And write down where it's going and where it's coming from. But imagine yeah. doing that and plus your day-to-day -day of running the business. I don't know about you, but I don't have like a big team yet. So having an accountant makes sense for me anyways okay so with saying that like what would you advise mums to invest their money in so when it comes to like freelancers so you would so you would definitely advise a, um an accountant anyone else i would say for me i'm going to tell you what i would i just say a brand message brand consultant because your brand message is so key because mm -hmm. Let me tell you, if you don't know your brand message, you're sending different signal to your customers and then your audiences are getting so confused because you're like, who are what? your audience? Who, who are you trying <laughs> to target? Because that was me before. I was posting just any and anything because I thought, okay, as long as we have content, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm sending, I don't know who I was targeting to. Is it a mom that's earning 60K? Is it a mom that's earning 40K? Like, who are you? Like 30K, 20K? Who is your primary audience? So get yeah. a, a person that understands your brand. So a brand, I definitely, social media, I actually like doing my own social media marketing, but I know some people find it easier to get a social media marketer. And mm -hmm. email marketing is so important because let me tell you, when Instagram and all that is buzzing, you can use your email marketing to target your audience. So definitely, yeah. for me, I wanted an email marketer, but I've now learned to like do it myself, which is like... Okay getting back sales and stuff like that but definitely mm. if you don't know how to an email marketing person is so important because they can get you so much leads um so that would be like my top um what else accountant brand message your marketing team and your pr team because they can okay. get you like you know pr is so like it's needed because they can get you to like your magazines that is specific to your niche you know what i mean to the radio stations that so definitely those people will be great to invest in okay and you can not answer this question if you don't want to mm -hmm. but with all of those people how much would you say it's costing you like monthly because <laughs> <laughs> <Let me> <laughs> we have to be real like money in Boy, just get your friends that know how to do oh, stuff. Right? That's all I'm trying to tell you. Like, you know what? It, it hasn't reached 1K yet. But when it's coming out of your own pocket, I don't care. For me, five pounds is a lot. I will not count <laughs> on you people. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So when it's coming from your own pocket, it's a lot. But I've seen the returns. Mm -hmm. And I know that the people that I've... And it took, you know what? It took me going through quite a few people to find the actual people that i can work with and that's for bow bells so don't if you go once you're quite lucky if you can just go one time and find the perfect team as you call it but for me it took about four or five goals to find them and but it's what for me it's worth it and as i said before it was let me tell you i lost what 
4K on one person and it did not I remember what I needed to generate. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's a business, it's a, it's a gamble, but we move. We move. Yeah. Don't but that's right. Because when you think about how much money you're making back, and I think as being someone that has yeah. seen your business from the beginning, you can see how it's grown and how like it's get, you're, you're clearing what Bold Bell is now. So it seems worth it. It's worth it. We're getting there. Clarity, clarity, darling. Clarity. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Before I ask everyone else what they were not like to put their questions in, what are like, I guess, like free takeaways that you took from 2020? Famous 2020. <laughs> Based on you and these <laughs> 2020 especially you know what happened in the, uh, in the last few weeks with my car yeah I mean, take risk take mm -hmm. risk and because i think a lot of us just we're in a comfort zone and we're not getting away in our comfort zone get up take the risk if it works out it works out and if it doesn't you've learned what didn't work so you can tweak it and just mm -hmm. live honestly just live i don't care what boris says please don't go out boris i didn't say that but <laughs> just try and live as best as you can because i think even though we're creeped up, there's still so much we can do because we have this time to like spend with our families and do stuff that we wanted to do that we couldn't like time slowed down so we can actually do what we want. So take mm -hmm. a positive from a negative and spin it, really. Yeah. It's a blessing. Like it's a blessing to make it to the new day, but to make it out last year. Especially hmm. what you I don't know if you want to like share here what you experienced recently. But yeah. yeah, honestly, just yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah, like, no, but honestly, you know, looking yeah. like in 10 seconds, of, I thought like my life was gone. I was just say to everyone, just do everything that you wish like you could do and stop waiting for tomorrow. That's my biggest thing. Stop waiting for tomorrow because we love to put stuff off and say tomorrow or next week. But what's wrong with today? Yeah. And, oh, and you may good point i think in one of your posts when it says start with what you've got like mm -hmm. i got bold bells out of like a little sainsbury's bag and now i have like this big cabinet in my front room filled with clothing so what you got and i remember people just looking at me like why now honey now <laughs> you've got people always have something to say you know what i mean you have your vision stay mm -hmm. true to that vision and sometimes don't be stubborn sometimes you have to change the vision a little bit with what's going on and just keep dreaming big, but also applying like actions to that dream, honestly. And that's it. Okay, so I can see um, one question just came through. But if anyone's got a question that they would love, like to ask, um, please feel free to either put it in that little question section or write it in the comments. So um, I'll read this question to you one sec. Oh, I see a question. Okay, so it said, what would your arting? Oh, so what would you are starting a business? Wait, what is... You might have to write it again. Can you see it? What would you start a business by themselves without the extra thought? What would you... Or maybe what advice would you give to someone starting yeah. a business without, without the extra support? To be honest, I didn't have like... But you didn't, yeah, I was just about to say that you didn't have it at the beginning. I didn't have that support at the beginning. Get, get Femi to get Zena, please. <laughs> Honestly. So, okay so how was it for you starting at the beginning is there any lessons that i guess you um okay so what did you learn at the beginning that you could give her advice about like now that she wants to start up? okay so at the business starting my business i didn't have extra support you know what i literally i remember i was working a job and it wasn't great pay and I remember mm -hmm. taking, I invested 500 pounds from my pay into the business. And um, that's what happened. I invested 500. That was what it started. I started 500. And then within a few months, that quadrupled. And I think why that happened for me was, I was so, because remember, I came, we came, come from a generation that's now still with entrepreneurs. But back in the day, because that was four years ago, we didn't have no one that, I didn't know no one that had their own business. Here we go. Uh she wants me i'm sorry guys <laughs> you know you're the one that spoils her so she's gonna come to you <laughs> you know so i think 
we look for support, I think the thing that I learned, I'm going to be honest, we look for support from family and friends and sometimes it's not going to come from them. It has mm-hmm. to come from within you. So I was my own support. I was my own funding system. And sometimes you just have to go out a limb and just believe in yourself because strangers supported me way more than most of like family and friends. And that's the, that's the biggest thing. Mm-hmm. And we have Instagram and we don't realize how great we have it that we can sell to people that we'll never meet and we'll make connections with these people that we'll never meet so instead of us saying we don't have extra support start your business girl put it out there and you'll be amazed by the people that are going to support you honestly i don't know if it yeah honestly no, I agree with that because I feel like when you let go of that entitlement, like, oh, you're my friend, you're meant to want to see me do well, you're meant to want to help me, and just think, like, I want to do this, I'm going to put myself out there and make it happen for myself. Like, it's more easier and you feel less disappointed when you have no expectations. Honestly, yeah. But when it comes to, so I always say, even when at a time, like, when I was a single mom, do it when the kids go to bed, I'll be like taking the tags out because I didn't have enough money. Like, I, um, I had now with the business to get them to put like bowl bells in. So I had to like yeah. tell them when they go to bed and I'll take the tags out and stuff like that because I didn't want to sell it. Like it's all those little things we have to like, this is what I'm saying. When people say like nine to five and entrepreneurship, honestly, entrepreneurship, you don't go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Like there is like times you just want to, I remember like crying so many nights because I'm tired, but I'm like, I don't have that help. But yeah. I'm coming to this right now where I have like, my fiance i like saying that yeah <laughs> and i've got like my my son who he knows he like knows how to pack the package my daughter is too and when she oh. sees me get the little like um wrapping tissue paper out she'll come with the little stickers ball bell stickers and she will stick it on the wrapping paper so you keep yeah. watching you get them like that's all we need is a little oh little that's kids can help us too get them involved you know what i mean mm-hmm. yeah okay. i think there's another one Okay. Yeah, Nabila. Um, how do you organize and prioritize your time between motherhood, business, and um, being a business owner and the wife? That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. How do I prioritize? I don't even know. Sometimes I don't know how I do, and that's the god honest truth. I wish I could make up some mumbo jumbo about my list yeah. and my this and that. I don't have a list, so maybe I should try one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think for me, sometimes I don't understand, but when it's like a school day i can do it more like neatly and efficient i feel like a super mom because i know how to work around but like now that they're at home i lose it okay i lose because travion's here doing his online schooling i'm trying to do my work but then he's coming to me every minute mm. and obviously i still need to cook i still need to so when he comes home it's it's a lot i don't i can't i don't have a good answer for that because if i'm honest with you i'm still trying to find my way around what really works i'm just doing i'm just i don't know it's just a matter of getting it done really yeah, <laughs> Honestly. And, yeah. like you can only be real boy oh, <laughs> to you now please <laughs> yeah but no i think like i've asked you everything i can't see any other questions i think people were still watching boris for well, our moods. Um, but is there anything else that I didn't ask you that you want to add? Um, no, I just want to like end on saying if you're going to start like your own brand, the things that I would say that I wish I knew like starting out for me is number one, know your brand me- brand message. Can you just look at my family walking here? Oh, woman. <laughs> She's Hello. <coming>. <laughs> anyway so back to the story mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah know your brand message and as we were talking about before knowing mm-hmm. when to outsource because i think if i had just let go of the control of being my own business and not wanting to have like we love to tell ourselves no one would run our business like how we would which in some sense is true but then you wouldn't know who's going to sail that ship with you. you can't just be the captain you need other people as well so knowing to outsource was one of the key ones we were talking about earlier. Get an accountant, please, because we need to secure that money and also knowing 
how much we can put back into stock and how much you can actually take out for yourself and not use everything to get that Birkin bag, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> also, stay consistent. Like, I know people say a lot, but my God, consistency has got me so much opportunities up until recent. So please stay consistent. I know some days, some days I get up, I can't lie to you. I don't want to post nothing, especially when um, the pre-planned one has run out and I'm like, Oh, it's time to do that again. But stay consistent um, and be intentional. Be intentional with everything that you do, honestly, and you'll see the difference. But that's what I would say. Oh, and have goal setting. Goal settings are really good to see if you're really up to scratch of what you want to do and where you want to go and what you want to achieve. But that's what I would say. Yay. My I gave a lot of insight and it's even stuff that I'm going to take on and now that I'm like relaunching my stuff but um, I appreciate you and thank you for making the time to come and share girl and be honest and transparent with, yeah, transparent with us well you know that's why I'm here for <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I'm going to let you go to everyone I said hi and thanks for giving us um, the mummy and the wife <laughs> we'll oh see my you God. <laughs> I'm going to as I mentioned in the comments and stuff, I'm going going to upload it onto IGTV. Yeah. And so whoever didn't get to catch it all can catch it another time. All right. See you later, kids. See you. See you. Love you. Bye. -bye. Um, oh, what's happening? It's doing some loading stuff, but I think you can still see me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I know it kind of clashed with with Boris's announcement so I'm going to go and look at it now but um yes thank you so much and I hope you all have a good evening see you